Good morning, and welcome back to Lena and John's Really Rockin' Readings. Hello, Lena. Hello, John. This is an interesting picture. It is indeed. Mm. I thought it was going to show up a little... There we go. Mm. We are... Good morning. It is Sunday morning. We have just done our morning prayers, and uh, it is snowing out in Queens, New York this morning. It's really, really, really coming down. I don't think you can see that, but it is. Mm. Beautiful morning. Beautiful snowy morning. Yeah. So we're doing a tarot card reading for today, Sunday, February 7th, I believe. Yeah. Now, um, the first card that jumped out of the deck, we're using our Beatles deck today. Mm -hmm. First card that jumped out of the deck is the Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. and that's the picture of Johnny on there, on this particular card. Uh, the Knight of Swords stands for someone who fights on your behalf and has a great way with words. Uh, a spokesperson that will handle... You know, like your pit bull, your private pit bull. Right. That's what Johnny is to me. Mm. Yes. And I could say the same about you. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you have been. In the past, you have spoken up for me uh, many times. Yeah. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll just make a, a, a reference to some of the, my, my old interviews um, I channeled Lena in a lot of my old interviews. She has sometimes a better way with words than I do. At that same token, Yoko channeled Lena too. When you hear Yoko at her most articulate in interviews, uh, dollars to donuts, that's Lena she's channeling. Next card. Okay. Oh, wow. Another sword. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the um, the Ace of Swords, which again is like a really great wordsmith. Uh, I'm seeing writing today, Lena. Mm. Creating art and writing. Williams Burroughs was our guest earlier this weekend. Yesterday we had him in for a two-parter. And uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, John. <laughs> William Burroughs was our guest, right? And uh, he suggested uh, making art and writing, using writing as a creative outlet, and I encourage that again. And we're pushing on. We're pushing for people to get busy, uh, especially writing about their ascension experiences. Okay. I feel kind of, yeah, we'll get to that, but let's see what the card says. Oh, this is a good one. Chris, oh, Chris, oh, you're calling me Chris? Well, <laughs> it happens, not that much. Well, you you know why you said Chris? Because he's been listening to Yoko all weekend. He listens to her constantly. Yeah, Chris, my, uh, my uh, husband, the guy I married down here on Earth and that I still live with, he's uh, the biggest Yoko fan. This is the Queen of Swords, and that stands for... Uh, <laughs> that's funny, we just talked about her, right. Uh, she's not that great with words. I don't know if you people out there have figured that out yet. Mm -hmm. I just want to bring this up real, real uh, definitively. And you can read back on some of our old chapters on our blog. We'll post one here. Uh, when Yoko channeled Dina, she was at her most articulate. She has never been that articulate b before or since channeling Lena. She doesn't channel Lena anymore. But she did back in the day. I believe you can find it in several of our blog pieces that Yoko was responsible for channeling Lena. And uh, that queen of swords, queen of words, uh, she, she can speak up for herself when she wants to, but not as articulately as Lena. Mm -hmm. Just giving credit where credit is due. Not trying to take away anything from her. God knows she plugs herself just fine. She does just fine. Uh, before we do another card, Lena, you were talking about how heavy everything feels to you today. Yes, heavy, yeah. You know she's so heavy. <laughs> yeah, there's some, there's some, uh, heaviness comes in all forms. What we are uh, bringing about today is that everyone if you're feeling like not only 
is your body heavy or you're feeling tired and literally like you're being dragged down or you have to drag your feet around or the very air that you breathe is heavy. You're not imagining this. All of the ascenders down here are experiencing tremendous linear, linear, no pun intended, heaviness. You just have to respect your body and lay down when you can and if possible do the bare minimum and breathe. Deep breaths all throughout the day. Right. John, it's another sword. They're all so and we shuffle this deck really good. Yeah. Means death, really. All all those swords together mean death. Here, this one is uh, the Three of Swords, which stands for separation from family. Mm -hmm. Separation from family. Sometimes by death, sometimes by necessity. Uh, we've said this in the past. Um, don't feel bad about giving your biological family or old friends the, the heave-ho. Uh, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, if they're literally dragging you down because they're not up to where you are in the ascension, let them go. It's just a reminder, but it's a good one. Okay. John, last card? Yeah. Thank God this is the Queen of Wands and this is Lena, even though that's Ringo, Ringo's wife up there. <laughs> but Lena is the Queen of Wands. And this was a good reading. And it was nice and brief. And it's all that we needed to say. I know you're dying to pick one more card. Oh yeah, just one more from the middle. All those swords. All that death. It's In this case, it really does mean death of old thinking and death of the old world. We're stepping into the new world and it's happening faster and faster. So it's not necessarily anything dire. But it is serious and there are serious Symptoms. This is the Page of Wands. Horny. <laughs> if you're feeling as horny as a teenager, join the club. <laughs> Let's go, Lena. All right. <laughs>